Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set is on bar graph. It says that three trains left a railway station at 9 am and reached their respective destinations at 4 pm. The graph below shows the average speeds for the cumulative distance covered by the trains on an hourly basis. Okay, so uh, that is the speed for the cumulative distance. So, how to read this graph is let us say uh, train B, the speed till 1 pm is 50. Okay, so 9 m it starts at 9 m, 9 m to 1 pm, there are 4 hours, and the speed is 50. So, distance will be 50 into 4, 200 kilometers. Okay, till 3 hours, its speed was 56. So, in 3 hours, it covered as 56 into 3, 168 kilometers. So, I can find that how much distance did it cover in a particular time duration. Okay, so you know that distance is speed into time. So, this distance is not known to us, speed is known to us and the time is known to us. So, you just multiply the speed and the time to get the distance traveled. Okay, so let us look at the questions. The first question is what is the maximum distance in kilometer traveled by any of the trains during an hour? Now very obvious thing that a person might do is one way is to solve by table, right? You find for each train you find uh, hour by hour distance that obviously you can use to answer all questions, but that's a time consuming thing, right? If you draw a table, that will be a time consuming thing. So you have to be smart in solving these questions, right? How can we answer these questions without creating the table? So let us see that maximum distance traveled by any trains during an hour. So the obvious thing that you might think is that uh, train A was traveling at 36. Now there is a steep ride that is the highest rise in speed, right? So you will say, okay, it was, it traveled 36 kilometer in one hour and it is 60. So 60 into two is 120. You, you will mark the answer as 84, right? That's incorrect. That may be correct, may not be correct. See, what happens is, like in the beginning, it is easy to increase or decrease speed, uh, increase the average, right? But as you go later, it will be difficult to increase the average. You must have seen in cricketers, right? Let's say Virat Kohli scores a century versus uh, some new player, let's say Rishabh Pant scores a century. So, Rishabh's score will, uh, average will fluctuate more, right? So, here the fluctuation will be uh, that there, there is less fluctuation. Here the fluctuation will be very high. So, let us look towards the end and try to, uh, try to map that yes, whether our assumption was correct or not. So if you see from 3 to 4, no one uh, increased the speed. From 2 to 3, there was an increase in speed, right? Now, obviously, this person has higher slope. Okay, this person increased with higher thing. So, train A at 2 p.m., the speed, the distance is, this speed is 57. Fifty-seven is the speed, and there are five hours, so the distance covered is two eighty-five kilometers, and here the speed is sixty-four, and the uh, it has covered six uh, six hours, so that is three eighty-four, and you see the difference ninety-nine. Okay, much more than eighty-four, right? So remember that uh, now this is we we were able to do without using a table, using a common understanding about averages that the fluctuation is less, right? No matter the fluctuation is high, but the difference is higher in this scenario. Okay. So the answer is 99. Second question, what is the total distance in kilometer traveled by the three trains between 10 and 11 a.m.? Again, you do not need the table. So 10 a.m. add these, that is 36, 40, 76 and 57. Uh, 76 plus 57 will be 133. Okay, and add these values, this is 48, this is 51, that is 99, 99 plus 60, 159, 159 and time is 2 hours, right, so that will be 318 kilometer, so 318 minus 133, you get the answer as 185 kilometer, that is the answer, 185.
third question what is the ratio of the distances covered by trains b and c between 12 pm to 3 pm okay 12 pm to 3 pm the difference distance ratio of distance is covered so train b is the yellow one so if you see it is at 56 and here also it is at 56 only right so the distance you can directly say that for b it is 56 into 3 that is 168 kilometers from this you can eliminate option a because 168 is not a multiple of 10 you can also eliminate option c right but since there are two options we will have to check for train c also so train c if you see at uh, this stage it was uh, running at a speed of 57 so 57 into 6 minus at 12 pm the train was at 62 okay 62 into 3 We'll have to do some calculations that is 342 and this is 186 so the difference is 156 so the answer is 168 ratio 156 which is 14 ratio 13 that is the answer to the question now the last question is which of the following statements is correct okay and we are given four statements so the three trains covered a total distance of 125 kilometer between 3 and 4 pm okay so again we will do the same thing uh, we will not calculate we will just we will not make a table we will just use these statements like we found the distance between 10 and 11 we can find the distance here also okay so this is uh, 56 57 113 and 64 177 and into 6 hours okay this is uh, 55 54 okay 109 and 60 169 and into 7 okay now uh, instead of solving this right just look at the last digit the last digit will be 3 last digit will be 2 you have to subtract this from this now this minus this so 3 minus 2 the last digit is 1 so this is not correct okay speed train of speed b was the fastest between 11 am and 12 pm now again as i said that the graph right uh, you might answer this option saying that the graph is increasing the highest but let us verify so at 11 it was at uh, 48 48 into 2 is 96 and at 12 it was 56 56 into 3 is 168 so the speed was 72 it covered 72 kilometer but if you see the speed is increasing here also and as i said that less fluctuation so let us verify this so this is uh, 52 52 into 5 hours that is 260 and this is 56 and into 6 hours 56 into 6 is 336 so it is 76 now see this graph looks much steep this looks less slow but still that is your answer because it is not asking for the slope right it is asking for the speed okay so that is uh, so here will be less fluctuation despite that we get this as the answer okay now uh, the ratio of distances covered by train c between 1 and 2 pm and 2 and 3 pm is 3 ratio to 1 is this thing another option remains is train a covered 205 kilometers so this is easy to check this so let us check this train a covered 205 kilometer in last 3 hours of journey so last is 7 hours and at 7 hours it is uh, 60 into 7 and at 4 hours it is at uh, this number right 51 okay it was at 51 and into 4 now the last digit is 0 last digit is 4 the answer should be 6 the last digit should be 6 so this cannot be the answer so this has to be the answer if you want to verify we can verify c between 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 so c between 1 and 2 so at 1 it is 53 into 4 212 this is 58 into 5 290 and this is 57 into 6 342
okay so the distance here it is uh, between these two intervals it is 78 and between these two intervals the distance is 52 so the ratio is 3 ratio 2 so this is correct option okay so this is how we can do highly calculation intensive sets without making tables just using some common sense and finding the relevant things right so uh, we saw that we were able to find especially the last last op question was something wherein you have to check options so that consumes time but other questions we were able to do quite easily without even generating the table 